performance. Now let's hear that fiddle. Howdy, folks. Got a lot of requests for this song today. No more perfect sound than that voice on that stage on a Saturday night. Vince Gill, everybody. Coming up, Charlie Worsham. Leslie Jordan will make his Opry debut tonight. And a little later, Brothers Osborne will make a lot of noise. Hello, friends. It is Bobby Bones here. Welcome to Opry Live, however you got here. If it's on Peacock, the Roku channel, Samsung TV Plus, Vizio Free Watch, or the Zumo app, we are so glad you're here to share our appreciation of music. Well, this guy on stage, I appreciate his music a lot. To me, his songs, they're like a fine wine. There's always one for any mood. There's one for every situation. All I want to do is listen to any song with that voice and just savor it, you know? And that, my friends, is what fine music tastes like. Here again is Vince Gill. 
Thank you guys. It's sure nice to see you all again. Missed you. Missed you very much. Uh, I'm going to uh, sing a new song that uh, was requested by our boss man here. Sweet Dan wanted to hear this song. He heard me sing it. It's a new song. And um, it's a, uh, I don't know. I, 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 hope you, I, I hope you'll understand my intention of this song. It's not, it's not to point fingers. It's not to lay blame. It's not to be judgmental. It's none of those things. It's just my heart trying to be human. The song's called March On, March On. Hundred bucks says I don't remember the words. Well, get on board, children. We're running out of time. The world needs healing, both yours and mine. We need to cause good trouble, but peaceful like John. The day we're all equal. Lord, the struggle will be gone. Well, preach on, brothers. Sisters, stay strong. Hearts are changing. March on, march on. Four hundred years of history couldn't be more wrong. A reckoning's coming. March on. shackles, pick the cotton in chains that's the sin of my people and I carry that shame God knows you must be weary, you've been dreaming so long you built this country so march on march on well, preach on brothers, sisters stay strong Hearts are changing, march on, march on. Four hundred years of history couldn't be more wrong. A reckoning's coming, march on. Heed the words of Martin Luther, lift every voice and sing along. Change is still coming. March on, march on. So I need to hear, got to hear, how you guys started this show. Again, right here. That's it, right here. Like, we started the idea. And we, we found the vehicles. We, it all came straight from this. Where we're sitting right now is where it came from. If it rides, glides, floats or flies, or moves otherwise, human power or motorized, combustion or electrified, modified, specialized, one of a kind, customized, wheels, wings, jets or slides, as long as it rides, sounds like something we want to see. Right here on Big Kenny's Crank It Up Garage, TV. That looks like a jet engine to me. Oh, that's a jet engine. The danger is real. If something happens, that engine burns up, it's going to happen very, very quickly. Hey, my first question is, why did you do this? Chad says, because. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's one thing to see this vehicle, then it's a whole other thing to meet these people yeah. behind those vehicles. Yeah. Yeah. And they're just absolutely amazing. Brothers! Woo! Brothers! And to hear their stories behind some of these projects, is just, it's, it's mind-blowing and, and just awesome. I think it's time to crank it up! Yeah, yeah! <laughs> Felt that thruster going forward just a little bit, and then my afterburner's kicking in, the smoke piling out the back of it, and I'm going, this is it, this is it, this is it. This is Big Kenny piled in a thunder buggy! Ah! 
That's Whoa. ridiculous. That's ridiculous. It almost blew my hat off. <laughs> Well, hello to all of my live streamers, y'all. It's Natalie Stovall, and I am back with you guys on a Saturday night. I cannot tell you how much I've missed you. And it is, uh, it's is—it's been really strange to not be at the Opry every Saturday night. I'm currently on the West Coast right now with Runaway June. We're opening for Luke Bryan out on the road. But I am very, very excited to spend a little time with you guys. So this episode that we're all watching together, this was an episode that aired on on May 22nd, I was there that night for this show. This was by far one of my favorite lineups that we have had over the last year and a half since I've been hosting the live streams. I just had such a wonderful time seeing all of these performers. So this is a really fun one to get to watch once again with you guys. Now, the reason that we're doing an encore performance, for all of you that tuned in last week, you got to see the incredible tribute show that we did in remembrance of 9-11. Now, the Opry production crew, our Opry Live production crew, they always work tremendously hard. But last week, there were a lot of extra hours that went into making that possible. So, we thought it would be nice to give them a little break. They need a little time off. So, after, the, and you definitely need to check that one out if you haven't seen it yet, but we're getting to watch this episode together, which is amazing because I'm already seeing so many things that I completely missed that night on stage. I'm usually standing side stage, so I can't quite hear everything as well as if I was out front when I'm at the shows, and there's also a lot going on because I'm getting ready to talk to you guys on air. I have an earpiece in, people are talking to me in the earpiece, my producer's giving me notes. There's always just a lot of things happening and it's a little bit chaotic until the second that I start talking to you guys but right now this is so lovely I'm getting to sit back and really really absorb these performances I didn't even see Vince Gill's guitar that night I didn't realize how beautiful that guitar was and I also got to hear him intro those songs which I somehow missed that March On March On was a brand new song that he played that night and it was so beautiful to see that also go rest high on that mountain one of my all-time favorite songs. That song I started singing when I was just 11 years old. I put that one into my set, so that's an amazing one. But we have a lot of show to get to tonight. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and send it back to Bobby Bones for everybody. Hey, friends. Welcome back to Opry Live. I'm Bobby Bones. Here's the question. Remember that kid when you were growing up that was just good at everything? You give him a baseball bat, he hits a home run. You give him a basketball, he nails a three-pointer. Golf club, hole in one. It always seemed impossible. We all just wanted to be around that kid, though, just to watch him do it. This next artist is, well, country music's version of that kid. At 10 years old, he learned to play banjo, then played at the Ryman with the bluegrass great Jimmy Martin. At age 12, he won a national banjo championship and debuted right here at the Opry. He has since learned to play the fiddle, mando, and guitar. He writes his own songs. Do you see what I mean? If you don't know him, you're going to love him. If you do know him, like me, you already love him. Here is Charlie Warsham. Hey everybody, I'm a big fan of the Opry myself. What a special night to be here, man. Y'all sure do look and sound good. It's, it's made this year worth it to stand here right now. Uh, if I get through this song without crying, that's gonna be saying something. This song was released this weekend. Uh, and it's the first night I'm singing it since our, our son was born. He's seven weeks old. And, uh, yeah, sure would appreciate it if y'all go out and check out my new song, because apparently we're going to have to pay for college in a couple decades. So. <laughs> Here we go. This is Believe in Love. Texaco star on my papaw shirt I believe in the Lord above Cause my sweet mama took me to church I believe in the power of good songs and good dogs Cause of my old man I believe that life's what happens While we're making other plans And you, you make me believe in love you, you give me a reason to trust that there's a happy ever after. If it's with you, that's enough, baby. 
it's true You make me believe, make me believe in love I believe our better days are up ahead and not behind I believe we'll have our struggles but they'll get sweeter I believe everything I give you, take to heart and keep it safe. And I believe the time we spent apart was well worth the wait. And you, you make me believe in love. You, you give me a reason to try. great sound that is well y'all uh, I'm probably not supposed to say anything about this but uh, sorry in advance to Circle TV there's a new show coming maybe it's already been announced but it's it's called Landmarks it's gonna be on Circle and uh, I'm gonna be a big part of the first episode because I'm gonna be talking about one of my favorite rooms in the whole world uh, which this is one of them but there's a place called the world famous station Inn. And if you're visiting, do yourself a favor and catch a show. And uh, this song is the story of the first time I told my wife I loved her outside the world famous Station Inn. It's called Half Drum. Ha! Ain't sure that I should have done it. But I sure am glad that I did. At least you didn't take off running When those three little words came tumbling off my lips Half drunk, half joking, half crazy From day one you've been the one, baby Just cause I went and said what I meant Don't mean I didn't mean it A hundred percent I love you And hope you won't hate me just cause I'm Half drunk, half joking, half crazy Cause I'm all the way into you Don't know what I was thinking Don't even know if that's what I was doing is called It couldn't hurt that I'd been drinking 
Yeah, cause looking at you, girl, I couldn't help spilling it all No, oh, you're half drunk, half joking, half crazy From day one, you've been the one, baby Just cause I went and said what I meant Don't mean I didn't mean it A hundred percent, I love you And hope you won't hate me Just cause maybe Half drunk, half joking, half crazy Cause I'm all the way into you All the way into you Ooh. I got my fingers crossed that this is just what you Have been half hoping, half waiting Said what I meant, don't mean I didn't mean it a hundred percent. I love you, hope you won't hate me just cause I'm maybe half drunk, half joking, half crazy. First thing you're gonna say is, hey man, that's really cool. All right, Richard, crank it up. Happy birthday to you. There better be some damn bids coming up for this. They're gonna to wanna to know about this thing. You know, it's Hollywood history, it's music history. All right, bidders. Do me a favor, let me hear this horn. Yeah, how cool is that? I love it. Hi, I'm Bill Ingvall. Watch my new show, Blue Collar Auction, right here, only on Circle. Coming to Circle on September 25th, Farm Aid 2021, live from Hartford, Connecticut, featuring Willie Nelson, John Mellencamp, Dave Matthews and Tim Reynolds, Margot Price, Nathaniel Rateliff and the Night Sweats, Lucas Nelson and Promise of the Real, and more, a celebration of music in America's family farms. Watch it live on Circle September 25th, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central, right here on Circle. Oh, Charlie Worsham. Y'all, isn't he just the best? I love that guy. Y'all, I'm Natalie Stovall. So excited to be back with all of my live streamers on a Saturday night here and enjoying this encore performance of a May 22nd Opry Live. Now, I was there that night and I got to host that night, but this is so cool to be watching it back with you guys and experiencing it in a whole different light. I hear and am seeing so many things that I did not see that night on the side of the stage getting ready for my host breaks. So that right there, one of my favorite moments of that when Charlie was performing is when he introduced Half Drunk and he said to the crowd, this was about the first time that I told my now wife that I love her, it's called Half Drunk. And the whole crowd laughs and then you hear him laugh at them laughing because then he realizes, oh my goodness, yeah, that sounded kind of funny. But those are those moments that we all really, really missed when we were just performing to a camera. You said a lot of things. You had no idea if the jokes even landed or if anyone was paying attention or listening. But man, it feels so fun to see these performances and the performers getting back on stage for a lot of them the first time in front of a live audience and actually playing to human beings. It still feels brand new to me with us being out on the road right now. We're on the West Coast opening up for the Luke Bryan tour with my band Runaway June. And uh, speaking of that crazy time in history, I wanna let you guys know, we've talked about this a couple times 
on the live stream, but the Opry Unbroken Empty Room Full Circle, because you know they have made sure that that circle remained unbroken. This is a limited edition LP that has some incredible performances from that moment in time where the Opry didn't have a single audience member. We were not able to have anyone in the room with us, but we still kept the show going. Some of the performance on, on here include Marty Stewart, Reba McIntyre, Keith Urban, Luke Combs, Brad Paisley and Carrie Underwood, Darius Rucker. There are so many great performances on here. Be sure and head over to Opry.com and get yourself one because there's not a ton of these left and uh, they make great Christmas presents. So don't forget about that. It's never too early to start thinking about Christmas. But right now we have more Grand Ole Opry to get to. So I'm going to head back to Bobby Bones. Welcome back to Opry Live. I'm Bobby Bones. When you think about being successful, you think about a person whose talents are in demand, but that's just level one. The highest level is being prolific. Webster says to be prolific is to be abundantly creative and inventive, and that perfectly describes this next artist. Once he started in the acting profession, he worked hard at being ever inventive and constantly creative, and as a result, he's been on television nearly every year since 1986. He's been in a movie just about every year since 1988. That's crazy. Now recently he released his debut album as a singer, and tonight he's making his Opry debut. Here is the constantly creative Leslie Jordan. Thank you so much. Thank you. I want to start with an old song, you know. I'm a hymn singer. I grew up on hymns. I love hymns. And so we're going to start with an old hymn called Working on a Building. I'm a working on a building. I'm a working on a building for my Lord, for my Lord. If I was a liar, I'd tell you what I'd do. I think I'd quit my life to work on a building, too. I'm a working on a building, and I'm working on a building. I'm a working on a building. It'd be hard, but I'd try to quit drinking. Work on a building, too. I'm, I'm working, working on a building. I'm working on a building. I'm working on a building for my Lord, for my Lord. It's a Holy Ghost building. It's a Holy Ghost building. It's a Holy Ghost building. Tell you what I'd do I'd marry that Amy Grant lady And I'd work on the building too I'm working on the building I'm working on the building I'm working on the building For my Lord, for my Lord It's a Holy Ghost building Lord, I'm about to faint. I'm too old for this. This next song, you know, 
when I was, oh, I forgot. They told me, there's just so much to remember, y'all. <laughs> I just want to stand up here and look pretty. <laughs> You know, when, when I was a little boy, my daddy would play the baritone ukulele. My Uncle Mac, who's here tonight, would get out his guitar. Yeah, listen at him up there. Hush. That's my family. Hush. Anyway, my Uncle Mac and uh, Jackie Reese, they'd get, all get the banjo and sing, and we'd sing uh, in the sweet by and by, which is one of my favorite hymns. And so, we're gonna do in the sweet by and by, and look who's gonna help me sing. Y'all know him, T.J. Osborne. He's gonna sing a verse for me. Look how tall, look at his, I can't even reach his microphone, look. You go, oh, wait a minute, here it is. You're not gonna believe this voice. I'm just, you know, I said, will you sing with me? And I said, well, why don't you just sing? I'll sing a little bit, but don't worry, I'm not gonna interrupt him. I think you've already sold the show. Like. <laughs> it's my outfit. <laughs>
I'm so glad y'all got to see me. Okay. <laughs> Come rolling for the care. Your dad was a voice for this sport to a lot of people. You're that same person. You stepped up and said, I have a concussion. I need to do something. Because I think you left that mark when you spoke up, stepped out, and said, hey, there's an issue here. 2012, I was testing at Kansas, and I was going on 200, a little bit faster than 200 brand new repave in a cup car in 2012, wide open the entire lap for 20 laps. Which was insane, insane. And I blew the tire at the end of the front straightaway, the fastest part of the racetrack. And it just went into the fence like it was, it was like pop, bam. And I hit the wall at no less than 185 mile an hour and I'd never hit anything that hard in my life, not even close. From that moment forward, I was no longer able to take those standard crashes that you're going to get into year after year after year. I just couldn't do it.
It's great to see you. Kyle Petty here with my man, Ric Flair. Hey you guys, what's up? I'm Darius Rucker. Hey, I'm Dylan Hart Jr. It's Davis Love III. Catch Dinner Drive with me, Kyle Petty, right here, exclusively on Circle. Leslie Jordan, everybody. Oh my goodness. That standing ovation was so incredible. And I forgot that moment that he walked over to the other side of the stage and forgot that he had to come back over to where I was because we were doing an interview right after that. And then he ran over there and he was apologizing. And I was like, uh, no, you're fine. You take all the time you need. I will be right here just bragging on you the whole time until you get over here. But Leslie Jordan is truly one of the most delightful humans and individuals I have ever met. Someone asked me the other day on the road, they said, who's one of your favorite, can you give me your favorite celebrity you've ever interviewed? And even though the interview that we had that night on stage was very, very quick, he is at the top of my list. He is so wonderful. And my favorite joke that he said that night when we were talking is that when he puts on that outfit and gets out there on the Grand Ole Opry, he calls himself Portable Wagner. <laughs> That is the most perfect description for Leslie Jordan I can possibly think of. He is so wonderful, whether you're backstage, he had the entire backstage just bustling, watching him, and he's always in, he's always a ham. He said that that night to me, and I said, well, I am too, so I understand. I'm always looking for that spotlight. But he is just the best, and he was celebrating that new gospel album that he released called Companies Coming, where he has some of the most amazing guest artists on this album. Brandy Carlisle, Tanya Tucker, Chris and Morgan Stapleton, Dolly Parton, Eddie Vedder, TJ Osborne, of course, Katie Pruitt, Danny Myrick, Travis Howard, Charlie Worsham, and Ashley McBride. I mean, what an amazing lineup of guests to have on your album. I can't even imagine putting all those people in the room together and making music and creating. He is just the best and he he really, really showed his love for hymns. And I love too that he's, it's not like he's a, a big giant belty singer, but you can't help but have the best time and have a smile on your face when you're watching him perform, which I think we all can use as much of that as we can get these days. Now, I wanna make sure and remind you guys that Circle is now on Dish. So for all of you Dish Network folks out there, go over to channel 370, but right now, just stay tuned. We got more Grand Ole Opry. Here's Mr. Bobby Bones, y'all. Welcome back to Opry Live. I'm Bobby Bones. You know, when I'm looking for songs to add to my playlist, the ones that get my attention either punch me in the gut or punch me in the heart. These next guys do that with basically every song. Their music seems to insist that life be appreciated and enjoyed regardless of good times or bad times. Exhibit A, five years ago. Here's some lyrics from their debut album. If we hadn't hit the brakes, we'd have no idea paradise was hiding right here. That, my friends, is a call for life to be lived. And I gotta tell you, having their music in our lives makes that just a little easier. Here is Brothers Osborne. Some people clap on a one and two. Some people clap on a two and four. Some people don't join at all because they got no rhythm and that's all right. Some people, they drink too much. Some people don't drink enough Some people are just like me I hope y'all forgive them I'm like Scotch and San Diego bands I'm like Peace Out Towns bands And I'm always speaking my mind When I'm better off at my tongue I'm a macho at the wrong time Yeah, I'm a legend of my own I'm a good for a song But I'm not It'd be a bit better If you took a drink you might reconsider If I was a church I'd be hanging with the sinners Talking about Hendrix and heaven If I was a bar I'd be a die A free jukebox in a double wide A neon light saying come inside And I'd be open 24-7 
I'm a little more rough and smooth It's a wonder I found somebody like me, like you I'm like sky to diamond gold bands I'm like these out town zans Good to be back on the Grand Ole Opry, y'all. Yeah. It's also good to uh, be performing in front of people. You know, we've done a lot of shows over the past year, or however long it was. I'm just feels like a month and five years on the same t all same time. But we've done so many shows where we were just performing to a computer, and we had no idea who was on the other side of it. So it just felt like a comedian, like constantly bombing jokes you know, after every performance. So. The fact that we even get to see you, hear you, this is an amazing experience. I love this. This is awesome. I'm like, wow. We're back, baby, yeah. I also want to give a shout out. Our mom is here with our Aunt Faye. I don't know where they are. Oh, there they are. Okay. Oh, dead center. This is, uh, this is our first time our Aunt Faye has seen us play that. Is this your first time here, Aunt Faye? This is her first time to the Grand Ole Opry ever. Which kind of makes me feel like a really bad nephew that I, I've been doing this for a little bit and it's your first time. I'm sorry, Aunt Faye, but we're here now. Y'all ready? We're, we're gonna play a song from our um, record before our last, a, a record called Port St. Joe. We're gonna play a song called Weed, Whiskey and Willie. Three things I know a lot about.
years ago I'm gonna lock all the doors Turn on the lights And close every blind The rain Nobody home And the pictures on the wall I'm gonna keep on repeating with whiskey. to be here at Arrington Vineyards with you. Whoa, Woo! we got a little action. Ah, oh, perfect. I've never had a sparkle rosé, so I'm really excited about it. Ah, that. it's fantastic. Oh, that's like summer in a glass. This is a great summertime wine, and yeah. I didn't used to even like white wines or drink I didn't them either. It's not that you can't drink red wine, but you can wait till the sun goes down and <laughs> jump and in then, on yeah, the other side. Yeah, you can start on the white. <laughs> Everybody needs to come out to Arrington Vineyards. Believe me, it is a beautiful place to spend a Southern weekend. The Circle came to me, they said, we want a new show. Grab some of your friends, tell some stories. So I did, with a little twist up. Hey, this is Chuck Wicks, taking your favorite country artist, and we're gonna make their road stories come to life in the best animated way we can. Where else can you find my buddies? Jason Aldean, Brantley Gilbert. Luke Bryan, Mitchell Tempe. Wow, Brothers Osborne. Ugh, I love those guys. I love playing shows with them out on the road, and I love seeing them on the Grand Ole Opry stage. Man, what a performance from those guys. I wanted to share this quote with you. That's why I'm looking down here because I love what uh, John actually said about this song. He said, there have been times in our lives where you're heartbroken and you're down and out and it's your vices that pull you through it. Maybe it's not so great to live on your vices, but we all do it to a degree. It just so happens that our vice is weed and whiskey sometimes and also country music. You put on a record and just have a drink and relax, it just brings you back to earth. Isn't that great? That is probably a quote to just describe Brothers Osborne for you. I love them. Now, something that I want to make sure and highlight is we are approaching the five thousandth Opry show. Think about that for a second. The five thousandth Opry show on a Saturday night nonetheless. That's not even including all of the Tuesday night and Friday night shows, but we are getting ready to celebrate Opry's five thousandth Saturday night show on October 30th. We are fast approaching that exciting landmark. So you want to make sure that you tune in on Saturday, October 30th and celebrate with us because I have a feeling that that is going to be a grand celebration that evening. I mean, I just can't even imagine that many consecutive shows in a row. It's so incredible. Also, there is a brand new show on Circle 
that I'm very excited about. It's called Road Stories, and it's the first animated series on Circle. Now, it's hosted by my friend Chuck Wicks, so you know it's going to be a good time. And he's talking to a lot of his friends and artists and other people in the business. And so as they're telling their stories, it's actually animated so that you can see it visually happening. And I heard him talking about it and saying, man, you know what? It's pretty easy ask. Everybody wants to be animated. So as soon as he asks any of his friends, they're like, oh, I am in for that. So be sure and look out for Road Stories every Friday night at 10 Eastern, 9 Central. And of course, there's also new episodes of my show, The Southern Weekend. Those are on Thursday nights, so make sure that you check those out. And uh, once again, it's the end of the show, and I can't believe it's already gone, but thank y'all for hanging out. We've got a little bit more to get to. Here's Mr. Bobby Bones. Welcome back to Opry Live. I know what you're thinking. How did they do it? Brothers Osborne, Vince Gill, Charlie Warsham, Leslie Jordan, all in one show? That's just how we do it around here. It's the Opry way, there is no other way. Now, John and TJ, appreciate you. Vince, Charlie, Leslie, appreciate you. So talented, we're so grateful. All right, the only way to really blow the lid off an awesome show is to close it with even more awesome. Here again is Brothers Osborne. Good night, everybody. All right, y'all, we got one more song for you. And you guys are revved up. I'm really liking this crowd right now. So if you guys want to stand up, if you don't, do what you want to do. But I really want us to, I want us to get after it on this one. All right, this is a new song, but it's going to be fun. It's going to be fast paced. And I'm going to have to, I'm going to do, I'm going to do my thing. Y'all do your thing. All right. All right. Princess, counterfeit called her queen. High school caught a cum laude, most likely to succeed. Her daddy's back with crazy. She got two sick football brothers. You take one step on of that front porch, you want crazy. Chase will leave your breathless, suck in the back road in this town. She'll love you like a Sunday drive, but she'll take your poor heart down. Dead man's curve, dead man's curve. No redemption, no turn. Good God, my gonna crash and burn down dead man's curve. Dead man's curve, dead man's curve Country boys ain't never gonna learn Nobody ever makes it through that turn Dead man's curve, dead man's curve Songs about cheese, but what you're looking for, she's gonna take you down, leave it coming back for more. Dead yeah, man's girl, dead yeah, man's girl, no redemption, no return. Good God, I'm not gonna crash the burden. Dead yeah, man's girl, dead yeah, man's girl, dead yeah, man's girl. Country boys ain't never gonna learn. Nobody ever makes it through that turn. Dead yeah, man's girl, dead yeah, man's girl. Put your hands. Thanks so much for having me up. God bless you all. Thanks for coming out here to the Grand Ole Opry House.